Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be making a very adorable Play-Doh rhinoceros. A rhino. I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun. Are you ready? So let's get started. All we're going to need for this is some blue Play-Doh, green Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, black, orange Play-Doh, Play-Doh knife and pen, Play-Doh cutter and a straw. All right, to get started, first take a large amount of blue Play-Doh and roll it properly and nicely. Big fat tube. Then take the Play-Doh knife and cut a part of it off. Using the small amount, start rolling that in your hand. Now we have two tubes. Take the bigger amount and cut off a little bit. Cut that again into two parts. This one we're going to roll more narrowly, so instead of like a tube, it's going to be more like a strip. Again, cut off another piece. Cut it in two and half again. And make three and four short tubes. They're almost like egg size, but they should be a little bit longer and narrow, more like a tube. Take another piece and make it a bigger tube. We got four small or short tubes and two medium sized tubes. Take another piece, cut it into two. Great. Again, cut that into two. All right, now take some green Play-Doh. And flatten it with your hand. Use your palm and press all the way down. Make it very flat. This is gonna be the base of the rhino. It's gonna be what the rhino will be standing on. You can add a little bit more green Play-Doh, again, pushing it down, so that it's kind of hilly and natural-like. All right, now take some white Play-Doh and make two tiny balls out of it. An easy way to make two tiny balls is make one ball, then cut it in half, and roll those two, and you have two tiny balls. Now take some orange Play-Doh and make two balls out of them. You can just press with your thumb and forefinger to flatten it. Now let's take some more blue Play-Doh and make two small balls again. Now let's take one blue Play-Doh chunk, the medium sized one, roll it and insert the Play-Doh cutter. We press cutter so that it looks like it's got a smiling face with two eyes. You can use the Play-Doh knife to make it look more prominent. Make the smile a little bit bigger and deeper and if you're happy with the eyes you can leave that as is. Now take the largest piece of blue Play-Doh and use a pen to make four holes. Now you remember those other four pieces we had? Now take the other pieces one by one and make them stand and taper the top. Taper means make it more narrow. So it should be a little bit wider at the bottom, a little bit more narrow at the top. Great. Now you're gonna insert those four pieces inside the holes that we just made in the large blue chunk of Play-Doh. Put it on top of the green Play-Doh base so that it doesn't fall over and it's very solid. How's that looking? You got really fat legs, huh? When you're happy with that, use the knife to give it some detailing, especially around the feet of the rhinoceros. Just little marks with the knife create this big sense of uh, thumbnails. Each of the legs should have some detailing.
Now take some black Play-Doh, roll it and stick it to the end of the blue Play-Doh strip that we made. Can you guess what part of the rhino this is? Well, if you've done it correctly, the black being much thinner, you'll instantly see it's the tail of the rhino. That's great. Now attach it to the back of the rhinoceros. Okay, now grab some blue Play-Doh and attach it to the neck portion of the body. Then use the straw and insert it into the smiling face Play-Doh. You're gonna push that onto the straw so that it has plenty of support. You see how the straw disappears inside the Play-Doh? That's pretty good, huh? All right, we're almost done. Now take those small blue Play-Doh balls and attach it to the face. Use the pen, push in, and those are going to be the nostrils. And you remember those two pieces where we had the orange pressed against the blue? Now it's time to use those. Attach those to the very back of the head. These are going to be the ears of the rhinoceros. What a huge head. See the ears, the nostrils, the eyes, but we're missing something. What is it? That's right. Use black Play-Doh balls and attach them inside the white Play-Doh. They're going to need to be smaller than the white Play-Doh and instantly your rhinoceros looks so much more cute and adorable. We're pretty much done, but to make it look even more adorable, you want to use the refill of the pen to make some detailing on the grass. And there you go, your cute Play-Doh rhinoceros is ready. Doesn't he look adorable? It's like he's looking right at us. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Play-Doh videos.